it make a princess face video or not a puppet and say face video but this is my airbnb scene um if you guys are subscribed to me and have been watching my videos you know that i am a self-taught interior decorator that's still on the rise um still learning but um i have employed myself and this is just my journey of being a single mom hustling and still trying to follow my dreams um so yeah so in this series it's going to be um, me i got hired decorate two airbnbs um and i'm completely excited she wants just a different vibe for them she doesn't want like a basic airbnb so i'm definitely overly excited so throughout these um part one part two however many parts we have before we get to the big reveal um i'll just be bringing you along with me so you guys can see some of the things that it takes to get there um and the trial and error that we're learning so you guys if you like these type of videos um i know i have a lot of hair subscribers and things like that and if you're new here my name is b um i do a lot of lifestyle videos some mommy videos some health videos a lot of home interior decorating videos and um i pretty much got something for everybody so i'd love to have you stick around check the videos out and i hope you like to stay and subscribe all right let's get but yeah, so we have a dining set coming. We have all the stuff coming for it. But like I said, these are the beds. So door. All right, so like I said, what I've pretty much done so far, this is not the bed that'll be here when it's all over. Um, but creating a spa-like atmosphere. However, um, I did order a bamboo mat, but for now, Airbnbs are required to have a mat. I got this luxe style, hotel style um, curtain from Target. These towels were already here, but we'll probably end up still doing the same concept or if they leave the towels. Um, I got these here just for aesthetics. I'll probably fill them with cotton balls or things that you know you normally need, maybe some Epsom salt or something like that. Um, I wrote those towels there. So if you can see, and I'm gonna get close. This one has a waffle and I'm gonna steam them, but um, they're nice and heavy and durable. So yeah, um, sorry guys, I didn't mean to make you dizzy there. Um, but you know, it's supposed to be just a luxe vibe. I added the touch of like the robe here. And and that just fell and shook the whole so i did i bought all the bedding already so i'll probably come and try to get these set up soon um so yeah this one's nice too like i said i have to have them steamed but it's just like that off-white um clean hotel vibe i decided to add some color in here just because you know i don't want to look all stale but yeah so that's pretty much that. All right. So we're now at the other one. So this one is a one bedroom. Um, it's kind of like a studio, not really, but um, it has an island and all of that. So I guess this would be the living space over here, which is actually a decent sized living space. It has a balcony. Y'all screened in. Come on, babe. Come back inside. So we did get patio furniture for all of them. Um, but yeah, so that means the furniture that we got should go pretty good up in here. Has everything that it's needing. So like I said, this would be her Lux one here. And this would be the bedroom. We got a king size bed to go in here. And bathrooms has no light, but I don't know, it has deep sinks. Oh, but the wash and dryer is in here. And this has a shower. I guess you guys have to see it when it comes back.
You know, you, we the dream team. <laughs> hey, hey, hire you a nurse, baby. You want these hospital quarters, baby? Hire you a nurse. When we take a break. This is what we do in our life. No. <laughs> yes. Ooh, this is therapy. Yes. I ain't even had to tell her to do it, y'all. I looked down there and it was already folded. Like, woo there is a God. Yes. <laughs> Stand and stuff in here um but i've already shown you guys the bathroom in there basically we're accenting with that teal color so i ordered these um dispensers these soap dispensers and they are so freaking pretty um the chairs have come in okay we got that we even got beds up in here here i brought in some boxes um i'm gonna try and do what i can while i can here so um for this unit i kind of bought the stuff or we kind of planned the stuff before i knew what it looked like so a lot of the accents that we have are gold um and this is more of like a gray based apartment or a gray based unit but um as you guys know and i've talked about on my channel before how um it is possible to blend metals and things like that so I'm crossing my fingers in hopes that we can, um, that I can incorporate some of those items to still make it look like it's um, a cohesive design and not just something that's out of place. Um, so I'll show you guys this big picture I got. Um, and I wanna show you guys some of the, um, the books and things that I found. So I'm gonna show you guys those and then we'll go from there. So as you can see, like I was saying, it's more of a gray tone, but it does have some browns in it. So um, I want to show you guys this coffee table book that I got. Um, I ordered both of these from Amazon. <laughs> I ordered both of these from Amazon. And this one, I think I'm going to buy this one for myself because it looks like it is actually like an enjoyable um, book to actually um, go through, you know, outside of just being a coffee table book, but just having some beautiful um designs and things like that in it um i think this is a great book so i don't know i think it was like 30 bucks maybe um but it's huge it's definitely heavy and the chanel one i don't think i paid more than 30 dollars for um the books but yeah i got those coffee table books so as you can see i got the black the white the gold um and here's the picture so as you can see, I found something that did have the gold because we're using mustard in here. So um, I think it'll work. So when it came to like art, I decided to say very neutral. Um, she's a very fun and like spontaneous um, type of person. So colors is her thing. But like I said, in here we are doing a mustard and emerald green. But to contrast that, um, I got these, so the backing is actually like a a nude, as you can see up against the white is different. Um, but I got these at Home Goods on sale for 39 bucks, and that's a steal because they are a nice size. So I just got two because with this being an Airbnb, I really don't want to overload it with decor, honestly. Um, but I got these. My goal is to hang these in the bathroom. Um, 
and again just that black and white feel which will still go up against um good up against the color tones in here and then i wanted to do something abstract um for here i know she's gonna like hang a tv and we got like a fireplace a floating fireplace so um just maybe you know a piece over there or something but like i said i don't want it to be a lot so here as you can see this picture guys this picture was a hundred dollars no i'm sorry this picture was actually 199 but um it was a it's, it's a pretty big canvas as you can see up against this wall here it's that's all we're gonna need um this is actually an outdoor piece um that i brought to use inside but it can still work because it has that marble that has the grays the browns and everything in it so yeah i think it's gonna go um so yeah so i'm gonna just kind of do a little bit here and then go try to head over to the other place i'm gonna show you guys these stools on um, these bar stools i just got at home yesterday they are gold but again it's just going to be like a blend of metals because this is already the route they were taking before i realized um that it was gray in here so yep um we make our own rules how about that We got a beautiful king size bed. This is actually the mattress ordered from Amazon. Uh, which, if you, I have a video on um, this mattress, which is just in king size for here, but um, I do have a video for that. And so we got chairs, we got outdoor furniture, we got a lot of stuff to put together in here. Um, but we're trying to finish up at the other place before getting started there. Okay, so I have gotten these two for um this wall here but to be honest with you guys i could probably get away with just hanging one to keep it from being like so overloaded and put another one in the other bathroom um let me see if i can prop you guys up so that you can see or either i'll try to let's see See it. I think one would be just fine instead of the two. So yeah, I look all kinds of crusty. But yeah, so I think one instead of the two because it does have that there, and I don't want it to feel like super close in because again, it's it's Airbnb. It's supposed to be light and airy. Um, so I think I'm just gonna take the other one to the other um, the other bathroom. And, and go from there so and this is just i think i showed you guys in the tour of this put some tissue and stuff maybe put up like a plant up top or something simple so just playing with the styling of some of these items like i think i just told you and this is really meant for the coffee table like i'll probably have a lamp or something here but um i found like i said these gray and gold um to blend everything so when that emerald couch comes with the mustard chairs I think it's gonna look yeah i think it's gonna look good y'all i think it's gonna look good y'all okay so like i said i still she's gonna hang like a 75 inch tv but that's the fireplace i'm thinking of putting this up right here um and just leaving that there i'm honestly probably not gonna put anything there i might just find some curtains um so you know just have an inexpensive way of like going about it so just getting some curtains or whatever and yeah. Amazon 
four for less than 200 bucks. Y'all, they are so nice. But I can't even find them like this in Calder Heights stuff from my own. Anyways, these are, these are nice. These are nice, y'all. beautiful so let's look at it up against let's look at it up against this stuff over here so we can kind of get an idea Ooh, y'all yeah, really think i put the chair on backwards or some shit <laughs> but yeah i might have figured it out but for right now i think it's gonna go I was so worried about it, but I'm not gonna spray paint those because they look really like a golden brown. So, um, yeah, this looks good. Yeah, okay, okay, okay.
gather all this stuff up. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna run over. Well, I'll probably stop here for the day and run over to the other place and pull some stuff in. But yeah, so that's the inspo. Let's see. Which it's not so worth this. I'll probably play with it. I might still stick this up here and get something else for around it. But you guys can see again. So yeah, I'll probably definitely get some more things or not a whole lot of things because it's still Airbnb and not a home. That is the thing I have to keep telling myself. The books are too heavy. Yeah, mm -mm, I don't like that. I think I like it better stacked. Okay, guys. So I think I'm going to end this one here. Um, so we got, I mean, a lot done amongst the two places, as you guys are going to see in the footage earlier before this um, from the two bedroom that we did get a lot done over there. Um, I've obviously gotten some things done here. I got a table together. We have to still get the chairs and stuff. Everything is not delivered to this place yet. I got like, I'm hungry. Anyways, so um, yeah, we got um, majority of things. The bed has come in. We're still waiting on a lot of items for this place, which is why I've been doing a lot at the other place. But I don't want to get behind because there is um, a really strict timeline that I have to stay on for this client. Um, so yeah, but I'm really excited for everything to come in. I'm really excited to see everything come together. We have like a really unique rug. Like this place is gonna be a vibe, y'all. It's definitely gonna be a vibe. So yeah, so like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and close out here. Um, if you guys enjoyed part one, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Um, and again, guys, I wanna say in a design journey, it's never like a, you do it all right the first time. You know, it's gonna take some playing with it. It's gonna take some, you know, seeing how you feel in the space. So with the second one is definitely, we got a whole lot of plan to do. Um, but yeah, so like I said, if you guys are down for the ride and enjoying this so far, what we have, um, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and look for part two to come. And then of course the reveal, or I don't know if I'll just go ahead and do the reveal, but I probably end up doing a part two because there's just still so much um, left to do. So yeah, so I see you guys in part two. Thank you so much for tagging along and hanging with me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.